Stars hosting the Blues, and the Blues are plus 110 on the money line. The Stars are minus 136. The over-under is six goals. The Blues getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 235, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Stars laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 182, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two goals. Now, the stats I'm going to read off are head-to-head versus the regular season, so bear with me. The home team is 5 and 5, the Stars are on a 3 game winning streak. These teams are 5 and 5 against each other in their last 10. The favorites on a 4 game winning streak. The favorite is 7 uh is 6 and 4 on the money line while the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 7 and 3. That's why the Blues are such a crazy uh odds getting a goal and a half the under is 7 and 3. There have been four one goal games in their last 10 meetings and the over under at 6 1 2 The under is 7-2-1 at 6 in their last 10 meetings against each other. Now, in the preseason, the Blues have looked meh. They're 1-4 in their last 5. The only game they played that they won, they beat the Blue Jackets. The other games, they lost 5-1, 2-1 in overtime, 4-3 in overtime, and then 5-3. For the Stars, it's been quite the opposite. They're 4-1, winning 7-0, 6-1, 4-3 in overtime, losing 4-3 in overtime, and then winning 4-3 in the game. They played the Blues and beat them 4-3 in overtime. I'm going to take the Stars with the money line. I'll take the Blues getting the goals. I'll go over and just say that this is going to be a higher scoring game than it typically is. And in net, we're supposed to have Bennington and Ottinger. And we'll see if that's accurate. Generally, wait until like an hour before puck drop. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.